Hello everybody, this is Gold League Gamer 1, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound! Okay, so, in the last video, for some unknown reason, Paula got swiped away. And now, we're gonna try and find her. Let's see here. Oh no, we're not going the right way. Gotta go north. Because we're looking for Paula at a place called Monotoli. Nope, not here. Okay, here it is, right here. Hello, baby face. What brings you to the Monotoli building? I am an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monotoli's office. Last night there was a solitaire tournament. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I know what solitaire is. It's a one-player card game. The elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at with him a gun. Whoops. Whoops. I was almost going to beat you up. Well, I'm glad you didn't. Ooh la la. This, this is my poor old friend. Ah, uh, what's your name? Pink Sp No, no. Ness. Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey! Get it? I'm now Geldgarde's Monotoli's partner, and I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some ratty looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here, now, loser. Hey, that, that wasn't very nice. You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that? Okay, fine. We won't show his more faces around him. You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm Alosius Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. My jaw is tired. Okay, we're... Okay, but that's not giving any hints as to where I can, where Paula is. You won't get away from me, kid. Okay, fine. Because I'm not going to find what I'm looking for here. Uh, 
All right, let's see anything there. Let's see, I've talked to all of you. Boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monotoli, aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it? Okay, fine. So apparently Mr. Monotoli was no help whatsoever. On time and careful with money. I don't look like it though. Stuck to the wall, maybe a peeping top. Behind this wall, things seem very strange. I feel like this isn't my place. Maybe it's your place. Okay. Well, we'll go check it out. Check Mr. Monitoli first. The safety of the citizens of this city comes second. I wonder what's going to happen if we go back again. Okay, so apparently uh, re-entering Monotoli was not the answer. Hmm. Okay, I wonder what's in here. The Dinosaur Museum doesn't have any real dinosaurs. They're all replicas. I'm sure everyone knows that. If you still want to go see the dinosaurs, pay $5 a piece for the entrance fee. Okay. Okay, that's a pretty cool dinosaur exhibit there. 
I wonder how many animals go extinct before human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Because in today's world, dinosaurs are extinct. Huge. Not you. I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. This museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. Oh. Let me guess. Another photograph? Yep. <laughs> Let's read this sign. Dinosaur bones believed to be from Southern Scaraba. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Do we have another cutscene or something? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea to take a break? I'm so happy there are some visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any famous stars here today. Okay, so, so, um... So there's some di more dinosaurs in this town called Scaraba. I don't know where Scaraba is, but, uh, but I'll look out for it. Speaking of the Tapola Theater, there's a new singer called Venus. She's better than the Runaway Five. I'm totally bonkers about her. Well, that's nice. May maybe we should check out this Venus. I heard Venus made an appearance at the Runaway 5 show. I missed her because I went to the bathroom. I'll hate bathrooms for the rest of my life. Uh, that's not really a reason to hate bathrooms. I can't see the Runaway 5 here anymore. I should dump this sorry excuse of a man and become a Runaway 5 groupie. Okay, looks like we had to come in here. Zone cold gone for you. Sing, I could die a happy man. Okay. All right, so let's see what kind of thing this uh, Venus is going to be doing. Oh no, now is Venus about to be kidnapped? Oh, oh not, not this time.
Okay, how long is this going for? Okay, I guess that's the end of it. Ah, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside. Don't let the other fans see you enter. Oh, you're just a little kid. I'm too busy right now to give you my autograph. Maybe next time, little man. Okay, well, apparently Venus isn't signing autographs right now. Okay, so that's what was happening in Topola. Now, is there any point of going going to uh, to Monitoli? But there's got to be some place around here that we have to go to. Oh, or maybe that maybe that sewer hole must must be must be the key to where we're supposed to go.
Ooh, maybe the cafe. Let's see what's in here. What? Does Mr. Geldegard Monatoli come here often? Hello, time to get up. It could never happen. Well, that's actually not true. I used to be Monatoli's employer. Then I realized his schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Monatoli didn't used to be so powerful. I, I want to find out his secrets, so I'm spending my time here. Watching to see if he ever drops in. There's a loud noise outside. It must be the seventh inning stretch. And the fans are singing, Take me out to the ball game at the stadium. Well, could be. I'm surprised you talk to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? Four. Five? Oh, yeah. It's not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either. I wish I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz, and I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. Next time I knew something when I asked, Who is it? And really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it. Okay. <clears throat> so. So Monatoli has a maid named Electra. He's breathing. He has he just playing too hard? Ooh, I didn't like seeing a corpse around here. There's a person lying on the ground. I wonder if he's... He doesn't look like a nice man. I don't want to go like that. I'm glad it wasn't me. Hmm. Don't cut in front of me. You give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Sure, okay, fine. I'll give you something. Um, I will give you... I'll give you a boiled egg. Wheeze, wheeze. Aren't you, Ness? I can't see too well. Everything's blurry. You are Ness, aren't you? It's me. We met in Tucson. Everdread from Berglund Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That car painter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called it Manny Manny. It's a strange colored doll looking thing. I'm in pain. And... Monatoli tricked me and stole it from me. He tricked a thief. He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret. He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen, I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. I said I'll tell you once, but if you insist, I'll tell you once more. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to say yes. I know what we gotta do. We gotta check behind the counter at the cafe. No. When you're on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye. Then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Wait a minute. That's... That's not a haiku. Because the first line is supposed to be five syllables. And I believe I counted six. Alright. I gotta get out of here. <clears throat> Alright. So he said to check behind the counter. What could be there? Robo-pump. Okay. And the Robo-pump is down.
Okay. Forsyth, are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. Okay, what really did happen to Forsyth? Well, I guess we'll find out next time. And until then, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1. Later, folks.